Hi everyone, Alexa here from the blog theduvalhomestead.com where I write about farm to table recipes and homemade natural living. And today I'm gonna to be comparing Koyuchi and avocado organic bedding. If you're watching this video, I'm assuming it's because you are wanting to buy new bedding and you wanna buy organic, but you're not sure which brand to buy. You probably are like me and Googled best organic bedding. And that is how I found Koyuchi and or avocado. Now, actually I found avocado because I was looking for organic mattresses. And I have a whole nother post about that because this bed is our new bed and we have the avocado organic mattress. So I wanted to put on organic sheets to go with that. We just had our first baby seven months ago now, and we wanted to switch over to organic. We were going from a queen to a king, and so we were like, we have to buy a new mattress, we have to have a new bed frame, which we actually built this one. And so we're gonna just buy all new stuff, and it's gonna be organic this time, because we haven't had that before. Now, the reason I'm comparing these two brands is because before we bought this king bed, we had a queen size bed, and we found the avocado bed sheets for that bed before we even bought, bought the mattress. So I had used those avocado sheets before. But then when we bought this mattress and it was time to buy sheets for the king, avocado was sold out of the bed sheets that we wanted. And so that is why I just bought the Koyuchi ones. I think I'm saying Koyuchi correct. If I'm not, I apologize if that's not how you say it. So we've tried the avocado bed sheets, we've tried the Koyuchi bed sheets, and we also have a duvet, a duvet cover, and pillowcases. So I'm gonna walk you through all the things that we have and my comparison of those two companies, and hopefully that will help you in deciding what would work best for you and your family. Okay, so one of the differences between Koyuchi and avocado when it comes to the bedding is the type of fabric that's used. Koyuchi has a list of fabrics that you can choose from. They have the percal, I don't know if I'm saying that right, cotton. Then they have linen, sateen, jersey, and flannel. And avocado has organic Suvin cotton, hemp, linen, and the regular organic cotton. So both companies are certified organic by the Global Organic Textile Standard, GOTS. And avocado has a much longer list of certifications because they also make the mattresses. But in general, avocado uses their organic alpaca wool from a farm with alpacas that they co-own. So you will see the wool in a lot of their products. They also have organic latex, organic cotton, and basically everything is organic. And similar thing with Koyuchi, they have organic cotton, organic linen, and I think everything on their website is organic based on when you just go to the website and look. And why is this important for your bedding? Well, because sometimes when things are not organic, they have flame retardants or formaldehyde or chemicals or all that stuff that you probably don't want touching your skin or your baby's skin or whatever. Comparing the Koyuchi and avocado bed sheets. Sorry, my baby is being very vocal. So we have the organic percal cotton from Koyuchi. And previous to that, we had the organic cotton from Avocado. Both are organic cotton. I trust both companies. I think that they're both great picks. I was new to the percal fabric idea. So if you're wondering what that is, I didn't know what it was either. It's known for being very, very light. And it definitely is. In fact, I will grab the sheets and try to show you. I don't know how well you'll be able to see. So again, I don't know how effective this will be on a video camera, but maybe you can see that you can basically see through them. They are very light. They are almost papery in my opinion, but we like them. They're soft. I will say the avocado bedding was softer to me. The organic cotton was softer. I feel like the Percal fabric for some reason collects dust easily for us, which is a weird, thing for a bed sheet to do, but it just, I don't know, you can't see that. But it's kind of, it just seems like it gets dirty faster. And it, maybe it's just because it's like so light. But um, they are nice, they wash well, and overall I think it's a good pick from Koyuchi. But I would probably pick the avocado ones over the Koyuchi bed sheets. Okay, so now let's talk about the pillows. Oh, and I don't notice anything about sleeping warm or hot with bed sheets. Uh, I think that they're the same for avocado and Koyuchi. I don't notice that either of them cause you to be hot or cold. But I will say that I was a pretty hot sleeper in the past, and with the avocado mattress that's underneath these sheets, I feel like that has regulated the temperature so much better of our bed. So I think the mattress has a bigger play in what your temperature is instead of the sheets. That's just my opinion. 
Now this is the king size pillow. Now our pillowcase is from Koyuchi because like I said we bought the bedding because avocado was out. <laughs> but the pillow itself is from avocado. So I'll show you what the avocado pillow looks like. I got a question about the avocado pillows because they are very very unique. They are made with an alpaca wool fiber blend and they come in an organic cotton case already and you just unzip it. And this is the weird part because it's unlike any pillow you've probably seen before, but you unzip it and there's another case inside. And when you unzip that, you get to the actual stuffing and it will fall all over the place if I open it much further, so. Kind of feels like it came right off the farm because it probably did. So Koyuchi has much more traditional pillows. They have your down pillows, your latex pillow. They have a latex mold pillow, which I think is supposed to be like a memory foam. I'm not sure, I haven't tried it, but. I will say, I think we learned something about pillows, and that is that what pillow you use is really going to affect your night's sleep. My husband had really bad back pain, and I think part of it was the mattress and part of it was our pillows. We would have like several down pillows on top of one another, and that's how we were sleeping, and we thought that was good, and I think it was not. So, and I'm saying this because this pillow is not like down which I always had down my whole life. I had down pillows and a down duvet, and I've always really loved down, and this changed my mind. So when you get this pillow, they send you a bag of stuffing for extra stuffing, and we were used to down, and so my husband and I took out like half the stuffing, and then after a while we add the stuffing back in, because I think for your alignment, these pillows just do wonders on your neck. So we ended up adding a lot of the stuffing back in, so long story short, these are very weird when you receive them in the mail because there's all this stuffing. However, it took a couple weeks for us to get used to them, which was not the case with the mattress when we bought it. The mattress we loved right away. The pillows, I was a little worried, but after a couple weeks, we totally were used to them and now we really like them. And I think our alignment's a lot better. So we have not tried the Koyuchi pillows, but they have the traditional down. I would definitely try the Koyuchi down pillows if I hadn't bought these first because I've always had down and I'm sure they're very comfortable. Okay, so speaking Speaking of down, we needed to get a new duvet. Now we love having a duvet because we live in the Pacific Northwest where it gets cold in the winter time. Our house is pretty cold, we don't keep it very warm, it's probably 60 degrees at night. And we really like having something heavy to sleep on us. It just helps us sleep better I feel like. So we've always had a duvet. I think my last one was from Pottery Barn and we had it for a really long time and it was down. So it was really nice. So Koyuchi has down duvets and Avocado has their alpaca wool blend again for the duvet, which I would have thought was very weird. Again, we went with the avocado for the duvet insert and I will show you as best I can. This duvet cover is actually from Koyuchi. So the duvet cover from Koyuchi that we got just has these little buttons on it. And of course it has the ties on each corner to help putting the duvet insert in easier. So this is the duvet insert from Avocado and the cover from Koyuchi. Again, mix and mesh. But um, here is the little tie and I just always double knot it. No one likes putting in a duvet, but it's really not that bad. So I'm just gonna unbutton a little bit here, but this is what the duvet insert looks like. And I can't show you the inside of it because it doesn't open, but it is funny because when it arrived, I thought it looked thin. And this is their, um, it's not the lightweight one. In fact, Koyuchi and Avocado both have two versions of their duvet, one for like a heavyweight and one for lighter. And we didn't want to get the heavyweight one, but we also wanted, actually, I think Avocado might have three. I'll have to double check. But we chose not to get the lightweight one. We wanted the heavy one. Because like I said, we like the weight. And we can always, in my opinion, you can always take covers off, but if you're cold, you can't, you can't put more on you only have whatever you have on the bed. So I will say that this is the warmest duvet insert I've ever had. And I have had really nice down ones. For some reason, this feels quite a bit warmer and quite a bit different than the ones I've had in the past. So there you go. I guess alpaca wool is the solution to all bedding needs. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. Now, a couple other points when you're considering Koyuchi versus Avocado is that, first of all, I think that the companies are both very similar. Koyuchi, I think, is older, has been around longer. Koyuchi has a bunch of stuff from kitchen to apparel to household goods. Avocado has all of that as well. Avocado also, of course, has their mattresses, and they even have some furniture, like bedside tables and nightstands. I think that the Koyuchi aesthetic, personally, is 
prettier than the avocado one. Avocado is very simple. They have neutral colors, which is fine. Obviously our bedding is white, so it doesn't really matter. But Koyuchi has some really, really nice colors and very pretty aesthetic. So I like that. And if I was to go with a colored sheet or a different look for the bed, I probably would go with Koyuchi bed sheets again. Okay, one other thing I forgot to mention was the price difference. So I haven't checked every single product on the website, but I think in general Koyuchi is going to be more expensive than Avocado. There are some items that are really similar, but for example, the organic cotton sheets from Avocado for a queen for a 400 thread count is $109. And that's for a sheet set with Avocado, with Koyuchi. For the Percal sheets, it's $278. So that's quite a bit more. Now you might say the Percal is worth it if you really like the fabric. So again, I haven't compared every single item, but I think in general they are, Koyuchi is going to be more expensive. The Koyuchi down duvet insert for just a twin, again it's down, is $4.98. That's really high for a duvet insert. And that's for a twin, just because I'm looking at the website to see what's available. For avocado, the alpaca duvet insert is $2.99. So definitely cheaper to go with avocado. Okay, one other thing I wanna note is the customer service. So again, I told you we ordered the mattress from avocado and there were a few shipping delays that happened with that. And the customer service was really good in my opinion. We had several people that we were working with to make sure the mattress came and it wasn't their fault why it wasn't coming. It was the shipper, shipper's fault. And they actually no longer work with that shipper. But anyway, point being, they ended up sending a second mattress out just because we were saying we needed it ASAP because we, we weren't able to sleep. We had a queen size bed with my husband, myself and our baby and she was growing and we just literally could not fit in that bed anymore. And we were like, we need this mattress. They sent a second one and then we canceled the first order. Anyway, they were super accommodating. Um, I did reach out to Koyuchi when I was trying to learn about the bed sheets. They were also very helpful, um, but I didn't have as many issues, I guess, to work through. So to their credit, they didn't have an opportunity to shine as much, but they did explain to me what Percal was because I was like, what's Percal? And so they were helpful as well. But I want to give Avocado a shout out for above and beyond service that we got when it came to our mattress. Now, one downside I think about both of them, just from looking on the website here, is they both run out of stuff. So if you need something and it's available, you should buy it, whether it's Koyuchi or Avocado. Koyuchi's out of stuff on the website, Avocado's out of stuff. I don't know if this is a supplier issue or what, but they both seem to be out of just stuff. So order it if you have it, if you need it, order it and don't wait. <laughs> oh, and one other thing I just wanna mention really quick is underneath this fitted sheet, we have a organic mattress protector. Now, Koyuchi and Avocado both sell mattress protectors. Hopefully you can see this, but they were very, very expensive. So we ended up going with this one from Amazon because it just was a little more reasonably priced. We had spent a ton of money on all this already, obviously, and we were like, we really wanted to get an organic uh, mattress protector because we spent all this effort getting organic everything else. We didn't want polyurethane or something like that. So we wanted to make sure that the mattress was protected because with the baby, obviously things get spilled and wet. So this is from Amazon and I'll link this below. Okay, I think it's time for me to make this bed so that my sweet baby can nap in it. All right, well, I hope this review was helpful. I'm sure I missed some things. It's Allison's nap time, so I'm kind of rushed right now, but I am gonna write a blog post about this topic and I'll go more in depth with some other stuff and more details from the website itself because I just didn't have a chance to pull that up right now while I'm talking. So check that out if you wanna know some more and you don't feel like doing the research yourself and you just wanna see the comparison of the two companies. I'll leave a link below to that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I will try to respond to you. If you're brand new to my page, please hit that subscribe button. Each week I get a new video out on farm to table recipes and homemade natural living. Thank you so much for stopping by the Duval Homestead. All right. Um. So one thing that, so one thing that, so one thing, so one thing you probably already know. Okay. All that stuff that you probably don't want. on the mattress protector, which is important because with the baby, we wanted to make sure ooh, that